what's up hello my name is Liz and you're watching for booking out loud so I'm not even gonna pretend I am filming two videos today and one of them was my last posted video and now I'm going to film a tag I'm not even gonna change my shirt I didn't even move we're just going with it it's it is my weekend I'm doing what I want once again but Today I am going for a tag video. I was I was tagged a while ago and I think that's going to be the norm from now on. So I am so sorry it's taken me so long. And thank you so much couple for tagging me so long ago. I am so sorry it's taken me this long, but I'm finally getting to it. So thank you, thank you. And I promised I'd get to it and here we are. So. I was tagged by a couple books, and as always, I'm going to link him down below. I love Couple. He is phenomenal. Always, always, always go check him out. And I believe the original is Scally Dallying about the books. I will link them down below. Go check them out. Always check out the creators of these tags. And if I'm going to be honest, once again, this is the first time I am looking at these questions and we're just going to go along with it, okay? Forgive me. So there are six questions and I will produce six answers. So question one, the first, tag first. Did you do the booktube newbie tag? If not, what was your first tag? Do you choose to watch newbie tags? So I did do the booktube newbie tag. Please do not look it up. It is horrible. I don't even think I'm in focus. I was trying to figure out different things. It was probably about a year ago now. Because I think I'm approaching my year on my first year on booktube. I've come a long way to say the least. And yes, I do watch booktube newbie tags because I remember how nervous I was posting my first tag and then receiving a ton of welcomes, whether or not people followed me, whether or not people liked the video. I loved the comments. I loved watching my views go up and it made me feel really good and really reassured when I first came on here. And so I want to do that to other people. And also it's just great to see newcomers. And yeah, why not, right? Question two. Tag emotions. What feelings do tags provoke in you? Tag joy and delight, tag boredom and resentment, tag guilt or anxiety, even tag envy. Ooh, this one's interesting. I, when people tag me, I like it because coming up with videos is very difficult sometimes. But at the same time, I am so backlogged on videos that sometimes I'm like, oh my gosh, this person just tagged me and I love that they tagged me. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And a lot of times tags are so much fun. So once again, thank you, thank you, thank you for tagging me. But then I know I'm not going to get to the tag for like a month or two months. And then I feel so bad because I'm like, this person tagged me. I should really do it soon to show that I'm actually watching the videos I'm actually carrying. But then... Like this one, it's taken me like two months to get to, and I am so sorry, and I promised that I would get to it, and clearly I'm, I'm getting to it, but then, yes, life gets in the way, video ideas get in the way, and yes, like I said, I'm feeling really bad. I need to figure out some better system to do tag videos. Maybe I just release a whole bunch of them on one day or something. I don't know. I don't know. So I guess... My tag emotions are just happiness and then guilt because I just don't get to it so for so long. Yeah. Okay, two, three, three. Tag favorites. What kind of tags do you like most and least to do and to watch? So for me, I like tags that really tell me more about the booktuber themselves. And a lot of tags do do that, so I guess most tags. I love learning more about the booktuber, their personality, their likes and dislikes, because then that shows me more about who they are as a person and what kind of books are their preference. 
And so I can know if I like to watch them for their personality or if I can watch them for book recommendations. And that's important to me because if I'm going to be on here and I really like, if I watch a lot of booktubers, I'm going to want to invest my time in booktubers that I really enjoy, no matter how big or how small the channel is. And a lot of tag videos are able to go more in depth on them. And so those are my tag kind of favorites. And so four, tag style. How do you tag? Do you have a system for keeping track of when you are tagged or do tags you plan to do? Do you prepare to do tags or just wing it? Okay, so I do have a system for when I film videos. So I usually look at my month or maybe even my year in advance and say, these are the videos that I want to do. And then I place my tags and kind of like, open spots videos that i don't plan like let's be realistic your plan for the month you have your tbr you have your wrap up i have my mid-month updates stuff like that and then if i try to do two vlogs in a month that kind of thing and then my openings that's where i try to place my tag and so if i'm backlogged for like two months that means i've already had like three or four tags and then I t it just keeps getting backlogged. So I'm kind of already planned for two months because I have so many tags that I haven't done, which is ridiculous to me. Good, good, but ridiculous. So like I said, I need a better way to do tags. So if you have any, any hints, any advice, please comment down below because I need help. I feel guilty when I don't get to tags for so long. So again, any advice, help me, help me. And then as for preparing or winging tags, it depends on my day. If I am like prepped, I can, I am on my game that week, I can look at the tag questions and I can write one or two bullet points down on how to answer it, I'm good. But if it's like today and I'm like, tired or it's my kind of down weekend I'm not gonna look at the tag until I am ready to film and you get this to say the least and I'm okay with both I think because tags are supposed to be fun tags are kind of supposed to be a get to know you or a, hey what's up this is an easier video let's have fun here let's do this let's go that's my opinion and then, wow, we're at five. Five, tag memories. Of the tags you have watched, done, or created, what have stuck in your memory? Are there any you would like to revisit or revive? I think there are two that stick in my memory. There's one that I recently just did. It was the omnivore reader tag. I was tagged by Beth Ann. I'll link what I did above and below. That was really fun because it really forced me to look at the different genres I read and kind of my updated books that I've read from that genre, four genres to be exact. And I really liked that because I had to pick my genres and then I had to revisit like, what have I done recently from these genres that I personally picked? So of course I leaned into the genres that I prefer mostly. And it also forced me to think about like, hey, I haven't read historical fiction in a while and I should really change that because I do enjoy it. So that's one that I think you can revisit as many times as you want because you can always change the genres. You can always change the books. I mean, you're not going to reread the same books five months from now, right? So that one was really fun and one I wouldn't mind revisiting. The second one that comes to mind is the backstage book tag. And I think I did that a while ago. I'll link mine above and below, of course. But I like that one in particular because I'm really fond of how people edit, how people film, and then just what their process is in, that you don't see on camera, right? Because all you see is this, me talking to you, right? And the finished product at the end of the day. And that's all I see from other booktubers. But there's so much that goes 
behind videos, right? I mean, how long does it take you to edit a video? What program do you use? What device do you use to film? And everyone is so different and at such different places and it's going to be different for every single person. So that's really fascinating to me because everyone's always looking for tips and tricks because yes. And to me, editing is one of the most insane parts about this because I'm still always going to be learning. And of course, filming is also pretty difficult because lighting and filming is never going to be my forte because I never studied it, but I can always learn more and more and get better at it, right? I mean, I was just saying, like, never look at my BookTube newbie tag because I've learned so much in practically the year that I've been on BookTube. And this video is going to be so much better than that video way back when, right? I will never rewatch it. Okay, I should never say never, but I don't want to rewatch it and I don't want others to see it. So there you go. But that video is out there and it's going to be interesting to see how much I improve maybe in a year from now when I'm two years into this process. That was a very long tangent, but yes, there you go. And then number six is to tag people. And like I said, I have some interesting feelings about tags. And especially if it's taken me so long to get to this tag video, I don't know if I want to tag anyone else. But as always in this case, if you see this video and you really, really enjoyed it or you think it's very fascinating, I want you to take this opportunity as me tagging you and just do it and have fun with it. And then, of course, leave that comment down below so I can watch it as well. All right. But I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful day. Please give me that thumbs up and a comment if you enjoyed this video. And I hope to see you next time. Bye.